got some pens to take a look at today, obviously. Hi everybody, today I am going to be taking a look at a couple of different sets of pens from the Michaels Artist Loft line. Now, these pens are fine liners and as some of you know, I am going to be doing a big fine liner round up a Thunderdome where I pit fine liners against each other in June and I figured that because I'm sort of behind schedule on videos because of being so fucking wiped out, that's why I only did three videos this week. I figured I'd just condense these into one and I'm going to make it quick. I'm not going to do a lot of comparisons to other pens because that's going to happen next month. I just want to give you my impressions of these on their own. Now these pens are similar pens at first glance to other fine liners that are out there. These fine line pens here, which are colors, there's a 24 pack of them and they are an 04 millimeter tip, look very comparable to like a Stabilo or a Statler. And then these have a it's this is kind of a confusing set so i bought this wasn't really paying attention i figured it was a set that had like you know eight different tip sizes in it but no it's actually three different tip sizes 05 03 and 01 you just get multiples of each tip size i swear they make a version of this that has multiple tip sizes more than just the three but i couldn't find it at my michael so we're just going to start with this and if i can get my hands on the other one then i will i will do a video on that but we're going to just take a look at these these guys look similar to like a micron or a tombow mono uh, drawing pen or a we have the Spectrum to our art liners. We've got the Pit Artist pens. There's a bunch of fine liners that these could be similar to, while well, these guys are similar to like the color fine liners that you can find out there. So we're going to just take a look at the colors of these, how the tips feel when I write, and whether or not they feel good, and we'll do a pen test really quick. So let's start with the illustration pens. Now these are part of Michael's Everyday Value Program. I believe this pack of eight pens went for $15, which I actually can say is not, it doesn't feel like that great of a price considering that you get a lot of repeats. If this was a value pack with one of every kind, then maybe I would feel a little bit better about it. And for all I know that does exist, but as for this 15 bucks for a pack of multiples of each, I guess that would be nice to have that of Microns or of Tombos or whatever. But until I know if these pens are good, I don't know if this is going to be worth the money for me. According to the specs, they are archival quality, great for line detail, technical drawing or illustrations, permanent when dry, acid free, pigment based ink. So in this value pack, you get two each of the 01 and the 03 millimeter and then five, uh, four of the 05, which honestly, I would prefer more of the 01 one and the I would prefer to be like three three and two maybe two of the o5 three of the o3 and three of the o1 mostly because I find that finer tipped pens tend to like break down faster when you're heavy-handed whereas the bigger tips like an o5 don't tend to do that on me but I don't know I haven't tried them yet now feeling these pens they feel kind of cheap they have like a smooth plasticky outside they're not super weighty they feel kind of light if I'm comparing it to a spectrum noir this has a much like more of a heft to it whereas this feels a lot more plasticky and cheap but that's that's it's a feeling necessarily you have your tip size on the cap the cap snaps on very satisfyingly when you stick it on the end it stays on really well so I appreciate that and unlike some of the fine liners like the Spectrum Noir that I've tried recently, it's not a little shrimpy, tiny pen. It's a decent sized pen. So I like that as well. I'm going to quickly write out with each of these. And then next to them, I'm going to write out the same sizes with a Pigma Micron, just so that you can see kind of the comparison in tip sizes. I'm not going to be doing tons of comparison to the Pigma Micron here, but at initial look, we can see what it looks like. Immediately from looking at these, I can tell you right now that I don't see a difference between the 03 and the 05 Artist Loft. And I wonder if that is because I got like a janky one. So where's my other 03? They look exactly the same. They don't feel exactly the same. The 03 feels flimsier than the 05, but they look exactly the same. And you can see with the microns that there is a difference. It's subtle, but there is a difference between the 05 and the 03. The second thing I will tell you right off the bat with these pens is that the tips on the 03 and the 01 feel like they are going to fucking crumple underneath my heavy handedness. So maybe it's a good thing they sent me extra pens so that I'll have some for the Thunderdome to survive after I use these for a while. 
I don't feel comfortable writing with those right off the bat. They feel flimsier than the other pens I use. And as I am heavy handed, that is something that does worry me. Trying to smear after it's dried. There's no smear. Let's see if they smear right away. They do, but they also didn't say that they were quick drying, so I'm not expecting that. I'm going to grab my water brush really quick and see whether or not they smear now that they're dry. They seem to be permanent, so that particular claim is accurate. At a glance, the ink looks about as black as the Pigma Micron, so I can't hate on that, but I will say right now that writing as a test... The strange thing is the O1 feels less flimsy than the O3, which is very odd to me. The O3 just feels like it's mushes, so I'm not sure how I feel about those. I don't imagine that these are going to take the place of Pigma Microns or Tombow Mono drawing pen or pens for me anytime in the future because they seem to be kind of flimsy. But over time, I guess we will tell when we compare them to anything else. But for right now, even if you're buying in bulk, honestly, I don't think that those pens are something you necessarily need to go with. Spend a little bit of extra money and use a coupe because you can't. Here's the thing. Even though it's 15 bucks for this pack of eight because it's part of the everyday value, you can't use a coupon on it. If you get a pack of Microns and they run like 19 bucks, but you can use a 40% off coupon on them, you may get less pens. But if they're not as flimsy as these motherfuckers, then maybe you'll be able to get more use out of them. If I was going to recommend on this limited knowledge right now and you were going to choose between something like the Pit Artist pens or the Pigma Microns and these pens, I would say go for the more expensive pens. Use a coupon. They'll cost a little bit less. They'll still be expensive per pen, but I think more worth it. Sometimes spending more money is worth it. So now we're going to take a look at these, the Fine Line pens. This is the 24 pack. It says that they are acid-free and water-based ink, perfect for drawing, coloring, and illustrating. They're 04 millimeter fine point pens and they're triangular comfort grip bail barrel again much like the statlers so i'm just going to take a look at these colors i want to see what the color what they feel like when you write with them and what the color selection looks like i will be doing a more in-depth color comparison later in a different video but for now if you want to just see what these colors look like and see if this is worth your while these are 19.99 for the set although they are not part of the everyday value as far as i know I think you can use a coupon on these. Yeah, you can use a coupon on these, so you can get them for cheaper than $19.99. The other thing I will add is that when you look at these in terms of their grading with what Artist Loft uses, these fine liners here are the first level, level one academic, and these guys are number two artist level, however you want to look at that. This feels, I, I shit you not, exactly like a Statler or a Stabilo. And I prefer Stabilos over Statlers because I don't like the triangular barrel and I know I'm not going to like this one, although in terms of the barrel, although I will say that in terms of a Statler versus this pen, this triangular barrel is a lot softer and less angular. So I guess I could get down on that. And they feel exactly the same as writing with one of these. Like just from memory, I've written a shit ton with Statlers, with Stabilos, with lip pens. This feels very similar. So if you this is your style of pen, then these might be a good substitute because with a coupon, they will be cheaper. I will also say something that pisses me off about triangle shaped pens is it's hard you have to like think about how your cap is going to go on because it doesn't just go right on because you have to line it up and it seems trivial, but it irritates me. <laughs> These aren't labeled with colors, so I'm just going to do a squiggle like this. I mean, you know, there's like yellow, different shades of yellow, but since there is no colors on there and I didn't see any on the Michaels website, I'm just going to do a squiggle. That's going to be easier to figure out. This is a very pretty color mix, not gonna lie. I really appreciate the subtleties with the browns and the grays. I feel like for the most part, this color mix is really useful. I think maybe in an area I feel like could be a little bit changed is that there are these two greens right here, which are very similar to each other. I would get rid of one, of, I love green. I can't believe I'm saying this. I might get rid of one of those green and add like a peachy color 
because we have like orange and we have some reds. I feel like there's a lot of cool toned colors here and a lot of browns and grays. And somewhere in this mix, if you could pull one of these colors and add like a peach or a coral that's a little bit brighter to the um, and the other end of the spectrum, I'd really like that. But other than that, I think this is a really nice color situation for this group of pens. They wrote really nicely. The pen tip felt like if I pressed down too hard, it would bend and kind of crunch. I don't want to do that yet because I want to hang on to these until the Thunderdome. So I will give some more pressure on them when I get there. They feel a lot like the Statlers and the Stabilas when it comes to writing with them, but just a little bit more flimsy. Not tons, but a little bit. It's there. I can feel the flimsiness there, but they didn't crush or anything like that. They are really pretty though. Like these are really pretty colors. And I would say this is a really useful pack if you want to color code or whatever, want to have some pens at your disposal and you don't want to spend 30 bucks on a pack of fine liners. Use a coupon on this puppy. You'll bring it down to what? Like 12 bucks or something? 24 pens? That's a good deal. I'm going to take this pen really quick and I want to see if it dries quickly. That's actually a pretty quick drying. It didn't smear at all. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is go in the back of my Erin Condren and the back of my Scribbles That Matter, and we are going to test out the colors on these to see if they bleed through. I'm gonna go for the darkest color in this, so the black in there, and then I'm gonna take uh, the 05 from this fine liner set. I will say, none of these colorful fine liners strike me as very juicy. They all feel, they don't feel very spoogy the way that like, say these guys feel or like another like really juicy fine liner. These don't, so I don't know how long they'll last. I'm gonna try and give these some more, test these guys out over the course of the next several weeks before I do the Thunderdome like lineup because I really wanna know if these are gonna run out quickly because they feel like they could. They don't feel very weighty, although again, they feel weightier than these motherfuckers. So let's give them a quick test. They both shadow about the same as most of the other fine liners do, probably a little bit more than some of the other fine liners do. Remember, I also have a heavy hand, so I guess I would be careful with them in your bullet journal. Like, you can still use them. They don't even shadow in the Erin Condren. I would suggest that these are planner safe pens, but overall, I know this is a quick little video, but overall, I figure that I'm gonna just give you my opinions on both sets all together. I would say right now that these pens, for me, are a hard pass. Honestly, they feel flimsy. You can't use a coupon on them. There may be better sets out there, and if I can get my hands on it, I'll probably try and pick it up for the Thunderdome, but honestly, I'm not really motivated to because I feel like, these are a waste of money for me that they're gonna they're gonna fall apart they feel like they're gonna crush under my, the weight of my hand except for maybe the o5s which just goes back to me wishing i had had more of the finer tips but honestly i think you can do better for the same amount or less money because you can use coupons on the better pens so yeah pass on those for me these guys on the other hand i love colorful fine liners as a lot of you know i really love my stabilos i I would, I, the problem with these for me is the triangle barrel, but it feels like it's a little less pronounced than the Statler. So that doesn't bother me quite as much, although recapping really does bother me. On the same note though, I feel like the colors are really nice. I love the color selection. And because you can use a coupon on them, you can get them for like 12 bucks if you get them on the right day. And for a pack of 24, that's really good if you're looking for a 24 pack of like colorful pens. In the parlance of Raw Beauty Christie, who is one of my, one of the beauty gurus I like to follow here on the good old YouTubes, these are a hit and these are shit. <laughs> But that's my personal opinion. You let me know down in the comments, fine liners that you have been using lately and ones you might want me to take a look at for the upcoming fine liner roundup we're gonna do next month. I will be comparing like illustration fine liners like these guys and Pigma Microns and then the colorful ones kind of in their own category. So there is that. I may have to split it up into two. That's also a possibility. Either way, let me know what kind of fine liners you're thinking about down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.